Hi, I wanted to come on tonight just to share something quickly about parenting and just sort of a recent revelation I had actually. And I'm just sharing in hopes that it can encourage someone out there, you know, mom or dad that may be struggling or, you know, just hopefully it will just encourage someone out there. And I know how challenging it could definitely be with children, you know, for sure. I don't care how many books you read, how many pregnancy movies you watch, nothing can really prepare you for it until you're actually like in it, you know? So I definitely get it for sure. I can remember back when, when like the Kardashians first started filming and Kris Jenner was telling, I think Courtney, like one is like one, two is like 10. I think she said, and I thought at the time, like, maybe that does make sense. You know, I, I could probably understand why that is, why that would be, you know, now that I have one, I'm like, one feels like five. <laughs> and I feel like, especially depending upon how much care that one may need and if they require, you know, special care, one can feel like five. So I no longer agree with that statement. So moms and dads, if you are struggling out there, just be kind to yourself and, you know, day by day. Every age has its own set of blissful moments and challenges. So just take it day by day and you're doing great. And one thing I wanted to share too, well, a couple of things, but I can remember when my son was about three years old, he was at a daycare and he would be like the kind of child that never wanted to do what the other children were doing. And here's what I mean. He would want to go to the playground if they were inside coloring. Or he would want to go do Play-Doh while it was reading time. He never wanted to have nap time. He wanted to get up and run around. And he just never wanted to follow along with what the other kids were doing. And as a mom, I sort of battled with this because... I never wanted to dim his light, but he did have to like listen and follow directions. So the staff would often call me to pick him up early, you know, or when I picked him up, they would just give me the report and, you know, he wasn't listening today and he had a hard time with this or that. And it sort of caused me stress actually, you know, cause I used to be concerned, like, am I going to lose my job or this or that? So I remember quite often in those moments, I would get him in the car and talk to him and tell him, you know, there is a time for everything. There's a time for naps. There's a time for having lunch. There's a time for the playground. And I remember telling him this so clearly. And it wasn't until sort of recently where I, as I started getting into scripture and things like that, where it talks about to everything, there's a season. And I didn't realize at the time when I kept telling him that, that was possibly a direct message for me as well. So perhaps moms and dads, if you find yourself telling your child something over and over again, or maybe even just once, sometimes I think God is using that teaching moment for your child. It's also a teaching moment for you as well. So maybe just listen next time to what you're saying to your child because it might be a direct message for you. Perhaps. And I'll give you one more quick one. Um, my son is five now and he's at a different school, different environment. But we were in the car a few months back and he was telling me about how his teacher never picks him to be line leader or to turn off the lights in the classroom or something like that. And he was really upset about it and crying. And I remember telling him, you have to just have a good attitude and be patient and have good behavior. And then she'll pick you. It'll be your turn. And he was like, but mom, I do have a good attitude and she still never picks me. And a part of me wanted to cry with him. I'm not going to lie. But then I had to like reel it in and be a mom. And I was just telling him the lesson of having a good attitude while you're waiting, a, a, a good posture while you're waiting, you know, and it was that lesson. And then it was also the other lesson coming back as well of, waiting for your turn. And it kind of reminded me of scripture where it's like, don't get weary and well doing, you know, having that good attitude and good behavior 
while you're waiting. And sometimes I feel like as parents and as people in general, we get frustrated sometimes when we feel like things are not working out the way we would like, or they're not moving as quickly as we would like. And sometimes it's quite possible that God is not working those things out as, as we see fit, uh, because it's not the season for that very thing. And, or it could be possibly a protection from something or something along those lines. And, you know, God's thoughts are not our thoughts. His ways are not our ways. So sometimes those lessons that we're trying to get to our kids, especially if this is the ones that are repeated, sometimes those are our what I think are direct messages that God are trying is trying to get to us that we're maybe not otherwise picking up on. So I just wanted to share that and hope that it can be like a bit of encouragement for somebody, but it's just something I take, I had taken notice of recently. So, um, yeah, I just wanted to share. So thanks for listening and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.